Hi guys, Daz here from Review. Today I've got a couple of reviews uh, for a specific type of app and these are um, interval timers. Now there's a lot of reasons you may want to use an uh, interval timer. Um, it could be for diet, for timing what times you eat meals, there's, there's water intake. I use them for work sprints, um, you can use them in the gym. There's lots of different things. Um, there's the Pomodoro technique, which a lot of people use for planning their day. But interval timers are really useful and they're great for the gym and I've got a couple of good examples. So the first one um, is called Wear Interval Timer. It's got a kind of funky logo and that's this one here. So if we take a look at the app first. This, the app tells you exactly how to use the application. Um, so we've got all our different screens at the bottom and we, we get to them by, by literally swiping across. On the interface itself, we've got a play button, a reset button, we can turn it on and off, and we've got a uh, count and it goes round. And so to see how that's implemented, there's the idle screen, there's the workout screen, rest screen, round screen, and then we'll come back to this bit in a minute. And so I'll just show you very quickly by uh, starting it, how the app looks uh, when it's in use. And so you'll see this inner circle is continuously turning around, and that's for the amount of time that you've actually configured uh, over there and you'll see that carries on working while I, I uh, modify it as well so we'll go up to 20 the watch is now vibrating and we're up to 20 now we're in our rest period so we're on our rest period um, I've changed this now to the phone and you'll see we not only we're getting the vibration now on the watch but we're also getting a beeping on the phone so it's, it's great for getting your attention that you need to do something now, hilariously within the application, I can see that there is a button for visit store and I, I go to visit store and I, I couldn't believe this when I first saw it, but you'll see that we've actually got um, different skins that you can actually buy. Consider this is an uh, interval timer app, I'm not really sure why, why you'd need new skins, but um, it's a cool feature, I suppose, because if I go back to the watch, um, I can change this to blue and use it. And so now I've got it blue, so maybe I'm wearing like a blue gym kit or something, and so that's a little bit cooler. So on the interface itself, it's pretty easy to select what you want to change. It's very clear, um, you're not going to make any mistakes. The only thing I would say on this screen where you've got this little time at the bottom where it tells you everything about all of the, um, the rounds and the rests um, gives you a total time there, but you'll see it slightly off the screen. It's not been very nicely implemented. It's probably just a bit of a mistake more than anything else, but you know, everything else is pretty polished. So next up we've got Fit Interval Timer. Um, so this one's obviously been geared up for working out, although of course you can use it for whatever you like. Um, I quite like the menu settings, this is where you actually do configuration for this one, as opposed to on the watch like, uh, like the one before. But you can see that you can select what you want to add to it, and it shows you the workflow at the bottom, so you know what you're getting with it. You've also got the option to start with rest time, which is quite useful um, if you need to get yourself ready, you know, for a workout, some kind of exercise. So using the interface is very simple, you just uh, press the inbuilt buttons. It's um, pretty clear. I'm not a big fan of these kind of iPhone style buttons considering we're clearly using an Android device, but um, each their own. Okay, so we're going to give it a go. Um, you can see here one of five, that's the number of rounds. Uh, we've, we've got the setup here, and let's press start. Just a little vibration on the watch. There's no option on this one to um, get your phone to beep or anything like that. And we can find out where we are by just lifting up and just checking out that card there. So you can hear it vibrating in the background there. That tells me that I'm, it's onto the next bit. But unfortunately it doesn't show me unless I call that card back. Admittedly I've got my watch set up in that way, but it'd be cool if it brought it up as a new notification. But there you are. So you could watch this just like uh, um, on the previous app, or of course you can slide across and get it open. And now you've got the full screen. So this is probably what you'd be using in the gym if you were working out. Another great app, um, again it's free. So go and check it out and it's a good alternative. Finally, there is another um, app uh, called Interview Interval Timer. It's kind of not 100%. You can see that the button's slightly cut off there for the start button at the bottom. Um, you can see I've got it set up for 10 second counters, uh, but you can also uh, put some time in for pause and repeat. And I've pressed the button there and you can see we're now counting down. That's a very small button and a very small hit area for me to be able to uh, go between countdown and pause. And if I just start this, it's gonna count down for 10 seconds. So you hear it vibrate, and now we move on to the next bit. Now you see there's a button here, but you're not really sure what it does. Um, I only know what it does because I've seen what it looks like on a square face, and that's actually a, a re reset button. But obviously there's no, there's no actual icon there for it. And so this one isn't as great as the other two, but um, if you've got a square watch face, I know it looks a lot better on there. Um, but maybe you don't want to set it all up on your phone. 
and so it makes a good little standalone app. And the developer, I'm sure, will get on with it and uh, up update it because I've seen some of the other apps are very good. I think out of all of them, this is my favourite one, simply because we've got this functionality of the vibrating and the sound. Um, it just generally looks a lot more polished. Um, I, I can do everything on the watch itself, and it's quite happily working away in the background. Um, it's just, I can see myself using this for in the gym or as an interval timer to remind me to do all sorts of work-based activities. So thanks very much guys. I hope you join me again for another review soon. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks a lot, bye bye.